So what is my favorite feature on the base 24 inch iMac that I just picked up from the Apple refurbished store? I'm gonna tell you and I'm gonna tell you why it's my favorite feature. Welcome back. So if you watch some of my prior videos, you'll know that I just picked this 24 inch iMac up from the refurbished store, Apple refurbished directly from them for 1099. So 1099, a great price. It's the blue model right here. It's the base model. So it's only got eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte hard drive, two ports in the back only, no touch ID or no ethernet. But why did I pick it up and what is the best feature so far from using this? You'll be kind of surprised, maybe you won't, but I want to explain what it is and then why it is. And why it is is even more important. You'll probably be a little bit more shocked by that because it comes down to price. And I'm going to show you in a second. Oh yeah, and just one thing really off the cuff, leave some comments. Uh, someone that worked at Apple told me that on the refurbished store, only computers, but on computers, they actually replace the entire shell of these things if they sell them refurbished, so you always get a pristine unit. Let me know in the comments if you guys got a scratched up unit from Apple refurbished ever, because I want to see if they're telling the truth there. All right, overall, I'm not going to get into total performance. There's millions of videos on that. Obviously, I have an M1 MacBook Air, um, and it's exactly the same, more or less. You can open up eight to 10 tabs. You can do everything from just page creation to uh, photo editing to video editing in 4K. I have a Panasonic G7, which isn't the highest quality, I guess you would call it, um, as far as 4K, but it's still 4K 30, and this thing can just blaze through it, no drop frames or nothing like that. So with, the, you know, with that, I'm gonna get a different uh, camera here in the next maybe couple months or so, and we'll try it out on that as well, but so far this thing just blazes through everything. All right, so why would someone pick this up instead of like a Mac Mini or a MacBook or something, you know, like the MacBook Air, for example? Well, the main reason is, is gonna be just because if you don't need a mobile screen, if you're not like going to coffee shops or you don't need to go to work or you're, you know, the office or just go somewhere with your, with your laptop, or if you don't have one already, I already have one, then you wouldn't wanna get this. But if you do, if this is for home use or you work from home all the time, um, I'm gonna explain why, but this is perfect for you. It's, it's a great system. Um, and if you're more at home than I guess on the go and you, don't, and you don't have a laptop already, then pick one of these up, especially for 1099. And don't worry about the M2. You're not gonna see a huge difference, even if that comes out. All right, a couple things people always say about this is the two ports in the back. Well, it's not enough. You, that's on the base metal, it's not enough. Well, I use a, I use, I have a ton of hubs. I do hub reviews. Here's a good one from TOTU, T-O-T-U. I'll show you a close up of this. It's got a number of HDMI ports. It's got a whole bunch of USB-A and card reader ports and things like that, ethernet, and it's even got a VGA in the back of it. So this kind of a hub, and I'll have a link to this in the description, but I'm gonna do another video on this later so you'll see a little bit more about that. But anyways, you plug this in the back and I can plug in anything I want there, HDMI. I mean, obviously those ports are 40 gigabits per second. This is only a 10 gigabit per second switch, but I'm not doing like, you know, this, can, this system can only do one external monitor, so I can't have multiple external monitors coming out. I'm not gonna be using that much bandwidth most of the time, not 40 times 80 gigabytes per second, it's impossible. So just get a hub or something like this and you know, you'll be fine. So I think that's the moral of the story is two is enough for everybody in most cases. I mean, you'd have to maybe get a little hub for 40 bucks or 50 bucks and call it a day. All right, and the other two things is, you know, the, the Touch ID. I'm just not a huge fan. Maybe I'm a little bit more old school. I just type my password in. I've just never gotten too used to that. If that's a deal killer, you can pick up a keyboard separate if you want to for like an extra 50 bucks or something. And then what else is there? I think it's just the Ethernet, and I don't use Ethernet. I have strong Wi-Fi in the house, and this thing doesn't leave my house. I'm not traveling with it. Um, now, granted, the one thing I wanted to mention about this is the cool thing is this is very light. It's like 10 pounds. So if you think about a laptop, it's got a cord when you charge it, and then you got to move it. You can pick this thing up and move it all around the house. I actually move it to different rooms when I'm watching TV and stuff because it's got one cord in the back, and it's so easy to move. It, it's actually too light almost where you can push it off. Be careful. But it's really cool because you can move it around the house without worrying about tons of cords. And on PC, in a Windows PC, you would never be able to do that because you'd have to take all the cords out and it would just be a pain. All right, so what is my favorite feature on this? What is my favorite feature for the 24-inch iMac base model in 2022? And let me explain everything. Don't just leave right away because I'm going to try to explain this and cost and everything. So it's the screen. Number one, it's phenomenal. Um, it's a 4.5K and the screen over there, I have a 5K iMac. It's very, it's the exact same basic DPI. It's just a little bit smaller. So it looks very comparable, very bright. I think it's 500 nits. It's perfect. So it's a great, great screen here. You can't complain and you can't get anything even close to this. So that's what I'm going to explain here. So people always come to me and say, well, why wouldn't you just get a MacBook or why wouldn't you just get a, a Mac mini and then get your own screen? Well, that's what I want to explain. This is why this is such a great value is because 
First of all, you know, if you want to get a MacBook, you have to travel and you want the MacBook, get the MacBook. If you already have one and this is a home computer, you get this. So that's pretty easy. Plus, MacBooks are tiny. If you're doing video editing and stuff, you still have to get an external monitor. And that's where this monitor comes in. You have to weigh that because you're not going to get a monitor like this or you're not going to get a monitor like that over there at 5K for a lot, you know, without spending a ton of money. All right, so the two monitors that I found that are very comparable to this, which they're not even comparable and people are going to argue this, but I'm just going to use them for example purposes because a lot of people always recommend these for Apple computers, is the LG Ultrafine line, I guess. There's a 24-inch and there's a 27-inch. And that monitor is going to set you back, uh, let me see here, 1,139 refurbished or renewed. So even a refurbished renew is 1,139. That's more money than I spent on this entire computer keyboard, everything included here, uh, monitor, everything else. So you got to take that also. You got to think about that because you can get a whole computer in a comparable screen with just a couple less inches for the exact same cost or less, which is the case here. So let's just assume we pick up the 24 inch only. It's a 4K monitor and this is a 4.5K monitor. So it's actually still better than this one. So that's number one. Number two, it's 530 bucks for that monitor, uh, renewed even, not even new, renewed. And then it's basically 630 new, but we're gonna use the renewed price just because this is renewed as well. So that's fair, right? So let's look at this. So let's say you buy a Mac mini and I went to Best Buy, I went to Apple today. It was 699 on their website, 699. So that's, that's expensive, more expensive probably than it normally is. So I'm gonna use 650 right now for the Mac mini. So let's just say we're gonna use 650 for that price and we're gonna use 530 for the price for the LG Ultra 5 monitor. So let's see what that costs. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be, let me see here, 1180 already. And this thing costs just by itself already 1099. So it's cheaper over here. That was 1180, this is 1099. This has got a better 4.5 inch screen, 4.5 inch, 4.5K screen. Same exact uh, length, 24 inches. The other thing this has is this has got a, a keyboard. So you'd have to buy a $100 keyboard. If, let's just assume you're gonna buy the Mac keyboard down here and a mouse. And let's just assume 50 bucks for the mouse. So if we're looking at all this, you're now at $1,329 to go that route. $1,329 versus $1,099 if you can pick up a refurbished one. Uh, even a new one I think is $1,299, so you're still cheaper. So that, there's the first thing. I'm gonna show you exactly. So that's how you can justify one way, but there's another way to justify this as well. All right, let me give you one more example. So this thing costs $10.99. Let's just assume that the computer built into there is the same cost as the, the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini we use $650. So if you figure the computer portion is $650, you take $10.99 minus $650 minus $99 for the keyboard and minus $50 for a mouse, and you're talking $399 for the screen. So Apple's only charging $399 for the screen here. So you, that's another way to look, look at this uh, when you kind of factor in how much a Mac Mini is and you kind of scale down. This ends up costing only $399 from Apple. You cannot get any screen even close to this. The LG is not that close to this. You can't get anything remotely maybe for under seven, 800 bucks in my opinion as far as these Apple screens. So right away you're saving a ton of money. This also has a better webcam. I think the LG monitors do have webcams and you also have a much better speakers by far. I think they have very weak speakers in the LG. So overall this is a great, you know, great package and this is why the screen in general when you're getting it for like 399 is so, you know, I get, it's just a huge deal and you get the computer which is basically a Mac mini stuffed in there just in a different configuration. I know there's not as many ports and the Mac Mini's got one more GPU core, but overall, it's very similar. Mm. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up, but you know, more or less, if you're a screen snob like me, I'm just kidding here, but I mean, if you are and you get used to that kind of 5K or 4.5K, then this is just a great deal to get and pick up for sure. It's absolutely a great deal, 1099. Um, there's really no reason. I mean, this is the one reason I buy Apple computers is because like I have a PC too, and I use it for gaming. If you're a gamer and you don't have a PC, buy a PC. If you have it though, and I have two computers where I can go back and forth, I just need to do normal stuff every day. I always go either to this computer or I go to a 5K iMac just because the screen experience is so well. So to me, the screen means almost everything as long as the computer can kind of catch up, and it does. These all work really well with that high resolution screen. So you can't beat this. I mean, you know, the 5K and this one are very comparable again, so you're kind of almost getting a 5K even though it's a little less, you know, it's smaller, so you're getting the same dots per inch though. Anyways, I hope all this makes sense. I know I kind of went through it very quickly and I hope, just want to show people why I think the screen is the best value and my, the main reason why I like it so much. Um, it's not only just the fact that it really pops and it's one of the best I've used, it's also because they're only charging really $3.99 when you factor into the other stuff and it's just a great value overall. So you can pick this thing up and move it around as long as you're not leaving the house, it's a great system. So we'll talk to everybody soon in the future here. 
I do videos maybe every three or four days, hopefully every three days. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.